way is a quaint, small, beautiful place to live. I'm glad we're here now. I really am. I've been here a long time, since 1972. So uh, it has been good. It, it really has. Conway is, is a, a nice place to, to raise a family. Conway to me is just a it's just a barrage of just activity a day in and day out. If we weren't going to school, we were all over this little town. Obviously this is this is uh, this is my childhood. First 19, 20 years of my life were forged here. Again, I go back to just a small community filled with a lot of kids and a lot of young families. So he drives around, he goes back to the pits. There's a little stinking grandstand behind the pits. He said, well, how about here? You couldn't even see the track. You, you, to think they were low, then you had the pits, which were pretty big, and then the track. I, I couldn't even see the track. I was a uh, uh, typical kid, a lot of ways. Um, uh, mischievous, uh, running around with my brothers, my friends, you know, causing problems, having fun, running through the streets, playing. You know, I was a sensitive kid. I was a you know, uh, I guess a kid that loved arts, reading, things like that. And uh, I was uh, eccentric as a kid, I'd say. Loved sports, but loved books, loved music, loved plays. I was getting picked on, yeah. dude, down to the playground, wherever else. Jason would be there to stick up for me. So that was the one thing that he had on me, but he protected me too. How much alike they were. Yeah, how yeah. much alike they were, yeah. They liked the same thing. They would sneak around and you wouldn't say, okay, where are they? We gotta go find them, see the two of them together, make sure they weren't up in a tree or down in a hole in the ground. But they were, you were in classes together in oh, yeah. school? Yeah. Both were really good in art. That was their gift. Mm -hmm. But of course, yeah. most artists are interesting. They have their oh, way of doing something sure. and then that's it. Your, your dad and your uncles were gifts and um, we're just so proud of them. And we're proud of our grandchildren. We're we, grateful. We've been very fortunate, very, very blessed. We've had good boys and good grandchildren. You can't ask for more than that. You can't, yeah. Back in the 80s, we were like little kids, early 80s. We'd come down here at night on weekends. We would go to, uh, you see this little white thing over here, right? They'd flash uh, popular movies up on the screen and we'd kind of just, probably th 20, 30, 40 of us would come down here. It was, a, uh, it was a good time, definitely a good time. So these three fields behind me, a lot of, a lot of good memories, not a lot of good baseball played but uh, made a lot of friends, had a lot of good times. This was my favorite field. I played t-ball there, and that's, that was my first baseball I ever played in my life. It was awesome. I, I love this, I love this whole area. It's, it's awesome, it's still here. Stands were filled over there, over there, people all down, all the way down that yellow fence. A little pop-up down first base line. I'd never played first base before. I ran down this way, caught it on my shoulder right here. Crowd applause, probably 15 people. Still a memory I, to this day that I cherish, probably my best baseball memory from being a kid. And uh, he was on this field playing first base down this line. It was pretty, pretty awesome. A lot of good memories in this field. Had a great time playing this field. Something random to 
there. I'll be like, and they figured it out too, because I said I do it to them. I try to catch them, and I, it it makes no sense. I don't. You're looking at me like, what is he talking? But I'll be like, I've got my iced tea. Yeah, but and, that too. I, and it's just I like know so that. dumb and irrelevant. You go okay, and it's and it's just meant. To, and I've done it to them. I'm like, awesome. I have my phone, and then it, see if I can just. It's just dumb. The first time I met your grandfather was through another friend. We had a mutual friend. That was the first time I met him. Yeah, we uh, we were really young. Yeah, we were only. She was only like 15 when we started dating, you know, but uh, but she was mature for her age. She really was. I knew him in high school because we were both in the band, New Brighton High School Band. We were at football games together and we were in school every day because the band was, in first, was first period every morning. Went to drive-ins and, and those kind of things in those days, go to the pizza parlor. And, but yeah, yeah, that that's how it all started long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> 57 years ago. When we first became parents, it was scary. We were so young. But it was scary but wonderful. There's no way to describe how you feel. Pride, joy. It's scary at times, but uh, yeah, you, you do it. You, try to do the best job you can. Uh, my dad was working a lot of hours. My dad was working three shifts. Uh, so he's a very, very busy man, but he always made time for us. We grew up in a household with a lot of fun, a lot of laughter. I mean, my parents were strict, like a lot of parents. At the end of the day, they loved us and we felt that. I'd say they did a great job. Kevin, your dad, and our kids were young. There were kids all over the street, from that corner all the way up. Tons of kids between, played in the street. Between and this corner and that corner, there were 42, I think, 42 kids, if you added them all up. Of course, they grew up and moved away, as did our kids. But guess what has happened in the last five or six years? They've moved back. A lot of them have moved back, bought homes, built homes right up around the playground where yeah, you're yeah. taking several yeah. of their friends bought homes across the street yeah. they built them so people are moving back to Conway Wow Conway is uh, one mile by one mile one square mile actually oh, wow. and so and yeah. for whatever reason wherever the children have gone to get started in life a lot, a lot of them of have moved back. back yeah we we grew up in New Brighton um, both of us and then this this house came available and you know we bought it I I was really hesitant at first. I, I didn't want to leave New Brighton. We built it. But, uh, but I, I'm glad we did. It, it's been really, really safe for the kids and us. I think when you live in a city, there's so much hustle and bustle. When we go away, when we visit you, when we go to North Carolina or we go to New Jersey, when we come back, the first thing we notice is we start entering into our area, uh, our home is the trees, the hills. It's quaint, it's serene, it's peaceful. And at our age, we appreciate that. You can't live a happy life when you're most concerned with earning money. I'm not sorry that we lived here. Very grateful that we're here now. This is where we lived in our very first home, our first house. Now it's to the point where everyone has grown old together. There aren't strangers here. Everyone knows everybody. It's nice. 
My whole identity comes from Conway. This town has taught me family's important. Um, I think that's a major influence on me. We're very small, we're just a little borough, but it is such a safe community. Because we moved here in 1972. Yeah. 2022, it'll be 50 years. And it's a nice, quiet neighborhood. Watching how myself and other kids developed and moved on in their lives, I think it's really uh, given me perspective with my own sons, my own family. Everyone had grown old together. The kids have grown up, moved on, married, went on to jobs in other places, in other states like you, like your dad, like your uncle. I was very happy to find, as the years went by, just what a wonderful community it is. This is where my family is. This is where I grew up. This is where my mom and my dad raised me and my two brothers. Home is home, but this is always home in my heart.